Hi guys, this is Matthew from Hukum. So yeah, today is a Tuesday. I'm not fishing today because it's been raining the whole morning and it's just started to stop the drizzle. And I'm here at Beach Shirt today. I'm going to stock up some tackles. And behind me, I have Lior Heaven. It's currently my go-to place for lures and stuff like that uh, since I've been back fishing. Lior Heaven at Beach Road. Uh, yeah, so let's go in and check it out if they allow me to film. And let me pick up the stuff that I want to do a review on and we'll move on from there. Let's go! Basically this is like heaven for a fisherman. You have all sorts of Japanese layers, all sorts of Japanese rods as well. Um, it's overwhelming, it's literally overwhelming. It's a customer there, customer. Right, so it's overwhelming. It's uh, you have to pretty much it's a daddy's playground I guess. Well daddy for me because I'm old. Um, yeah, so I don't even know where to start from. This is quite unique, the jelly sardine by Jekko. I think it's rubber with a travel hook attached and stuff like that. Got permission to film here, which is good. So basically I'm here today for the cultiva to stock up on some stuff. However, the twin tail one and a half inch grub, mm, they didn't have the pink it's sold out now. So I had to settle for other colours and something smaller since now I know that tilapia takes the fish, takes the bait. So I'm going to get the spoil for choices, you know, it's like a bit of a candy thing. I think this one seems to be quite nice. A bit of a pumpkin colour dish. Uh, perhaps it might mimic the earthworms, so I would get a pack of this. Let's see what else they have here. Basically, my gimbal went out of battery, so I just had to improvise and how it goes. So, I was saying earlier, I'm going to look for, most likely, going to settle for this twin tier pumpkin color just to stock up for the bit of a light gear and stuff like that. Um, this Mama Wolf pink. Quite slim profile. I think I'm going to take this as well. So I have two and maybe just one more packet and we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm liking what I'm looking. It's a one and a half inch 10 pieces crowd with quite a decent size of a pedal tail for the action. The twin 12 quills, which I think these two will work pretty well. Um, what else? Let's see what else we can find something small about an inch and stuff like that so that the tilapia could take the bait more easily uh, let's see let's see so this is what i'm going to review and test out in the days to come we have the rock and bait twin here which this more or less works the mama worm soft which is something new uh, which i think will definitely work and the kakumu as well Gumuku. I'm back home now doing the review of the three products I have purchased uh, just basically to show you guys I bought the Rock and Bait uh, Ring Twin Tail that's what I call it yeah the Ring Twin Tail version of it uh, I think more on a pumpkinish color right because they kind of sort of pink which that's what I wanted but I got a substitute I got the Mama Soft Worm which is about a 1.2 inch uh, grub uh, very slim profile like a little minnow uh, with a very big paddle tail pink 
and of course another pink color head and tail type of grab by the by Storm uh, Gumoku. So um, you must be wondering why why Matthew why always the micro grabs? Well, the true fact is I've been fishing legal areas for quite a while uh, back then. You know, since I've just been back fishing, and I was always using like uh, crystal minnows and stuff, hard body lures, three inch, three and a half inch lures with trebles, uh, but wasn't too much success until a friend of mine uh, showed me the light. They said, Matthew, you need to downsize your tackle and everything, go as light as possible because it's such heavy pressured fishing areas. And therefore, I hit the advice, I downsized everything, I started using like nine pound, six pound. Need the line depending on where I'm fishing right now and started going with the one one and a half kind of each kind of uh, minnows and grubs so therefore this came about right uh, and especially even more so after the video that I fished at Derby God right uh, and tilapias were taking the grub which caught me by surprise because I haven't caught a tilapia on the artificial before uh, led me to realize that even with the uh, ring twin tail model it was a bit big uh, for them to just gobble it down they were more or less biting the, the tails and therefore i thought this would be a good choice because it's a 1.2 inch grub right uh, padded tail with a lot of action and with half of the grub is actually the body the rest is just the tail so i think the hook will be pretty pretty decent so to start with, again, a uh, Cautiva Rock and Bait Ring Twin Tail. It looks pretty much like this. Uh, I'm not sure whether you guys can see it. It actually has two tails. So when you kind of retrieve it in the water, the two tails will actually kind of spiral. Uh, so there are different ways to work it. Uh, for me, I'll write to uh, lift it up and the two tails will work and just let it drop down maybe give a twitch and then the tails will work as well or a very slow retrieve of the bottom will also create such a uh, motion to entice the fish i was primarily using this at the Mountbatten legal area and caught the pickup bass and had the hit on the pickup bass on this particular uh micro grub the rock and bait series right so i should be Heading over to Kusu and St. John, hopefully tomorrow if the weather is fine, I'll be using this. I don't mind going after small snappers and stuff like that, uh, just for the kick, you know, just to get out home. Uh, and to see whether or not the micro guard will be just as effective out at sea, uh, saltwater from shore, at the breakwaters. So the other product I bought uh, was the Mama Wong Soft, you know, I, I purchased this because of uh, primarily because it was pink and I really wanted a pink uh, grub and it has a very slim profile and a very big pedal tail which I will believe under the right circumstances and current are moving uh, even without retrieving the tail will just create the action to entice the fish let me just open it up now and have a look um, before we do that it is a 1.2 inch grub comes with 10 uh, little rubbles for you to use and it costs about six dollar twenty cents right which is okay you know um, well if it catches me a fish per grub I think it's decent price right so let me just open it up now okay and it actually is laid out very nicely in a container uh, ish kind of thing so yeah so it is really, really a very, very small minnowish light of grub, you know. Um, wow, it's so good, right? So to me, can you imagine something so light in the current? If let's say I was drop shopping a, a micro grub like this. I just leave it at the bottom and not even touching it as long as the current this thing is just going to and hopefully <laughs> hopefully a fish will bite it right so that's the plan um 
pink. Uh, why? Okay, before I forget why I chose this, because it really looks like a, a small little minnow or a typical longgang fish, you know, living in the midst of all the tilapias and whatnot in the drains, right? So this will mimic quite well, and I presume should do pretty well. So I think the next time I'm out at the canals, this will be the first one in. This will be the first one. Right, okay, just to go back for the rock and bait, there is a total of 12 pieces and it costs $4.10. Right, so all in all, as of now, I have spent almost about $10, but I have a total of 22 baits to use which I think it's pretty decent and you can reuse them you can reuse them if it's not destroyed and the last of, of all the storm Gumoku right so I've seen Rapala videos on this I think it's awesome you know uh, especially on the slow retrieve I think I saw uh, is it Nigel or something like that at Crunchy using similar lure slow retrieve hitting uh, pickup bears at a very high pressure in places so I'm going to give this a go as well it comes in 10 pieces 10 pieces it's a 1.5 inch grub in pink right I'm not sure why pink maybe is it because is it a earth foam color or something like that so I don't know even way before then when we were luring as a about six years back I have a lady angler who always swore by the Daiso two dollar Daiso pink meal and she seems to catch a lot of fish uh, or perhaps it could be because it's a tilapia color as well so not too sure about that so yeah so the next time I'm out which is tomorrow I will be bringing this tree along with me and let's see if we can catch anything so I think overall it's not too bad. I spent almost about so about fifteen to sixteen dollars, and I have a total of uh, let's see how many. I have a total of ten rubber, uh, ten chalf, and ten. So it's thirty-two, thirty-two layers for sixteen dollars, which will go a long way in many many trips with myself and my kids and stuff like that. And there were so many more options to choose at Leo Heaven. Um, yeah, from massive uh, rubber grubs, rubber, rubber, massive baits and stuff like that. Uh, very unique Leos, uh, Igma Leos, Evergreen Leos, and a lot of range of aquariums and bags and rods and reels. <sighs> if I was only in employment for the past two months, I would have bought more. But nonetheless, I'm going to be back in appointment by employment by beginning of July and therefore hopefully I'll be able to purchase more items to do more reviews uh, on the rods and the reels and see how it goes from there. I'd like to thank Dave from Leo Heaven for allowing me to shoot the short video at his store. Uh, it was really unplanned for um, and uh, very grateful for the opportunity. I think it will be nice to also uh, for me to go to other shops and see whether or not they will allow me to film in there and to show you guys locally and overseas what kind of fishing shop we have in Singapore, right? And the stuff that we use as well. So, yeah, till then, thank you so much again for visiting my channel and looking through my videos if you like what you see please like and subscribe it will go a long way for me and yeah it will motivate me to do more and more videos for you guys okay so to then to the next video take care stay safe on the water and enjoy fishing see ya